What is up guys, I am back, Android Cell 666, coming at you with a new episode today. Um, I was unfortunately unable to put one out yesterday. Uh, I had a lot of stuff I had to get done, and then of course I went out to a club, had some fun with my friends, and you know, the good stuff. But today, I wanted to do two episodes, uh, so episode three will be up. Well, when you're watching this, probably, uh, it will be up today. Today is actually Saturday, the 22nd of March, 2014, and the next episode will be shortly after. Um, I will be going out again tonight, but I wanted to get it done now, because I have nothing else to do today. So I wanted to get two of them done, so that way I've at least got four within four days. So as you can see, my Nita Ram just evolved into Nidorino. Uh, the last episode there was Charmeleon and Pidgeotto now. Taking care of business right now. Head on down to here. We're going to go deal with uh, a little bit of some rockets. <sighs> of course, these Pokemon are annoying. So, uh, as we continue walk through here. These Pokemon just keep popping up. Just, just keep doing it. This guy. A Sandshrew. You're gonna come at me with a Sandshrew. Alright. And a rabbit's at her. I don't know. And then a Zubat. Potion. We gotta, we gotta heal the Pokemon. And make sure they're in fight shape. Hmm. This is back getting taken up pretty easily. HP up. Well, uh, I'll use it on my Pikachu. So, my question to you guys. Um, I mean, I, I already beat the game. I already have everything recorded, I just have to do the, um, what you call it, the narration. Um, what game do you guys think I should do next? That'll be the question of the day for this episode. Well, the question of the episode. What game should I play next? Would you rather, uh, see it as like a live feed, like you watch it live, and I do, I'd say about half an hour or so, so a day, or would you rather, uh, would you rather watch episode by episode, um, pre-recorded? You know, don't even have to be any of the options I gave, you guys can even be creative and come up with your own uh, idea for what you want next to be played, and, uh, what, uh, like, how you want me to do it. I mean, I have no problem doing a live feed, except the only problem with it is I don't have enough of a following to kind of, uh, do it and have enough viewers while having it up. Um, not to mention there's a lot of people in different time zones, so that's also a little more difficult. Uh, but those of them who don't get to watch it, will get to watch it later on. I kind of prefer not to do a live feed, but that's just me. So as we sit here dealing with more Zubats, Atkinses, Sandshrews, Ratatatas, etc. There's another. You know, I kind of wish there was more space in the backpack in the original games, but there really wasn't, unfortunately. Let's teach Pikachu Mega Punch, why not? Need to get stuff out of the pot out of the backpack so I can have more stuff. Oh well, of course I want to learn Mega Punch. Eh, no. Never mind. I guess I didn't. I, did, I know eventually I taught Pikachu Mega Punch, I just don't remember when exactly. Um, but it's there. It'll be there. So heading back on down. 
dealing with a youngster. I mean, did you guys realize that the, um, I believe his name was Youngster Joey, he was, uh, just after Pewter City, in between Pewter City and Mount Moon, I believe he was the second trainer at the top when you start to walk up there. Uh, once you walk through Pewter City and you go over to that route, I believe it was Route 3, could be wrong, um, but right, um, when you turn right and go to that route, and then you go up, not the girl, we're not counting the girl, you go up, there's the one trainer that you have to fight, and then the second one, the second one was Pokemon trainer Joey, well, youngster Joey, uh, that guy is just, he's immortal, he's all the way into the 6th gen, as far as I know, he's in the 6th gen, um, except he's not wearing a hat this time, I don't think he was in 5th gen either. Other than that, it's the same person, apparently. Apparently Pokemon isn't that creative, they can't keep coming up with names, or it's like, you know, but let's just bring Youngster Joey into each series. Why not? So let's see if they notice. I don't know. They have their reason for it. You know, I would like to also play music while I'm narrating, except you would be able to hear it over the microphone, and then YouTube would be like, Oh, wait a minute, that song is copyright! And I'd be like, oh, that's just retarded. Kill yourself. But don't really do that. That's bad. I probably shouldn't even be saying something like that. But whatever. Just joking around. Kids don't ever say shit like that. Or, oh, S word that I just used. It's bad stuff. Keep away. It's for adults. You're not an adult yet. So we take the almighty Helix fossil. Pray to Helix. Our mighty lord and savior. The Helix fossil. Not to mention Bird Jesus. Which, by the way, if you guys watch, uh, excuse me. Twitch plays Pokemon, they're in Gen 3 right now, they're playing Emerald. And they have Democracy mode, uh, disabled. So it's all Anarchy mode. I actually prefer Anarchy in some situations, I mean, every now and then it's alright to have Democracy, but... When people want to revolt because things aren't going the way they want it, a lot of them do. And that's what was going on a lot with, uh, when they played Crystal. There's just a lot of revolting going on. Quest takes forever just to finish the game. That's whatever. Leave it to Australia. They're all neighbors. They all know what to do. Catch a few Pokemon, I guess. I mean, you're not going to really see me catching all the Pokemon in the game. But you will see a little bit, I guess. I actually don't really think I caught any Pokemon... Um, like right at the end of the, the Moltres and the Mewtwo and all that. Oh, there's a spoiler alert. I caught, caught Mewtwo, clearly. I used the Master Ball. And of course I caught Moltres, which could possibly mean that I caught Zapdos and Articuno. But you'll, you'll, uh, you'll see how interesting it was with Articuno and Zapdos compared to Moltres. I don't know why old Moltres has to be an ass. Being a jerk. Well, we're gonna heal our Pokemon, now we're gonna go to the Mart. We are going to... Um, get a few things here. I don't know, I'm gonna sell some stuff that I don't need. You know what, actually I'm not gonna have a, another episode after this one until tomorrow. Um, I don't really like narrating in long videos, which is pretty much what I end up doing anyway. But, uh, I really just don't feel like putting up another episode today. I like to kind of space them out a little bit. I think that's what I'll do, though. I think I'll just do, like I did two episodes in two days, skip a day, 
I mean, it wasn't on purpose, but I ended up skipping the day. Now I'm going to have one today. I'll do one tomorrow, and then I'll skip that day after that. And then uh, upload another episode and so on. So, like, every two days you'll see two episodes, and then you won't see one the following day. And then after that you'll see another episode, and so on and so forth. Yeah, at least have a day between every third video. Also, actually, here's another question of the video. Or question of the episode, question of the day, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> um, would you guys want to see creepypastas uploaded on this channel? Uh, for example, uh, Hypno's Lullaby. If if you do, please tell me. I'm actually interested in that. I'm thinking about doing that. Um, but of course, I would like for you guys to tell me if that's what you want. I mean, there's, there's really no reason for me to do a video that I don't want to do, but you guys want. Or a video that I want to do, but you guys don't want to watch it. That's kind of just dumb. It's more of the fact of uploading videos that people want to see that I enjoy doing as well. Otherwise, you're not really benefiting anyone at this point, except either yourself or the audience. It's better to benefit both. Like the original Pokemon series on Game Boy. Pokemon Red, Pokemon Blue, and Pokemon Yellow. Those games, I, I love those games. I love the original games. There's flaws that I... I don't like about it, but I love the fact that that's this is what I grew up playing, that's what I grew up watching, that's what I grew up doing, you know. Um, the original Pokemon series was interesting, especially the games. The, game, the games were awesome. Um, uh, it's it was great. I mean, I wish kids nowadays knew what it was like. I mean, they can go back and play it, but they didn't grow up with it. I mean, I kind of feel bad. I mean, even TV shows nowadays, it's... Uh, I mean, I've seen a lot of those shows for kids, and I'm just like, what the heck is this? Kids enjoy this crap? Of course, that's also what adults are saying about the shows that we watch, like Pokemon, growing up. All right, what is this crap? You watch this? Well, yeah, it's awesome. So I, I, I kind of uh, understand how the kids feel about it. It's like, well, they're growing up watching this, I grew up watching something different. I mean, how I feel about good shows is not what they'll feel about good shows. I mean, Pokemon, back in the day, was a great show. Yu-Gi-Oh! was a great show. Power Rangers was a great show. Courage of Cowardly Dog was a great show. Um, uh, Tom and Jerry was a great show. And today, these kids watch stuff like... Uh, um, I, I, don't, I can't even tell you the names of the shows. I don't really pay much attention to the shows, but I have seen them. I don't understand how they're that entertaining. But you get you get the point. You get the gist of it. Um, so now we're going up through here through the bridge, the Nugget Bridge, beating each and every person that sits there and goes, "Hey, I'm the next person." Yeah, well, now you're the last because I guess you Ruga just got beat. about to get to number four. He's got a main key. Gonna knock that some out. And now the final guy, who by the way is part of Team Rocket. And if you beat him, he gives you a nugget. A nugget you can sell for 5,000 Poké Dollars, by the way. It's one of the most awesome items that you can have in the game, because you can sell it for 5,000. <laughs> Excuse me, I got the hiccups. So now we're going to heal our Pokemon, um, and we're going to go sell that nugget. Well, as this video is coming to a close, I'm going to say this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, and share, and of course stay tuned for further content. Uh, and everyone, have a good day.